Hello and welcome to our next lesson on roots of quadratic equations or alpha and beta. In this lesson we'll tackle a slightly harder question. When we're given a quadratic equations with roots of alpha and beta, how do we find a new quadratic equations with different roots of 1 over alpha squared and 1 over beta squared? Before we begin on the question proper, let's just show you some formulas that you'll need to use for this question. The first, we should know that for any quadratic equation, the general form is expressed as ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. The second is that we should know that the sum of roots is equal to negative b over a. The third, the product of roots, depending on the roots of the equation, is c over a. The fourth, in order to form a quadratic equation, I can use it as x squared minus the sum of roots x plus the product of roots equal to zero. And the fifth, a very um, useful formula is that alpha squared plus beta squared equal to alpha plus beta bracket squared minus 2 alpha beta. So we will be using these five formulas as we go along in this question itself. Let's head back. First thing, I would like to express the 2x squared equal to 7x minus 3 as an ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Alternatively, it simply shows that I need to bring everything to one side equal to zero. This is in order to find out my accurate value of a, which is two, b, which is negative seven, and c, which is three. So we can begin. We know that the sum of roots, or in this case, the sum of alpha and beta is negative b over a or 7 over 2. The next, we know that the product of roots, or alpha times beta in this case, is c over a. Now, the goal is to find out the new quadratic equations, and in order to find out the new quadratic equation, I need to find out the sum of 1 over alpha squared and 1 over beta squared and the product of 1 over alpha squared and 1 over beta squared. So let's try to find this out. For 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared, I can join them together so that the denominator becomes alpha squared beta squared. The numerator will be a beta squared plus alpha squared. And if you recall, in, on the next page, I showed you that a very useful formula to use is the alpha squared plus beta squared equal to alpha plus beta bracket squared minus 2 alpha beta. For the denominator, I'm going to group it together as alpha beta brackets squared. Now, your question would be, why do I want to do that? So, the reason why I wanted to to change beta squared plus alpha squared into this is because I actually have the value of alpha plus beta as you can see over there and I also have the value of alpha beta as you can see over here for both alpha betas in the denominator and the numerator as well so the next step is easy I just need to substitute in alpha plus beta and alpha beta on the top and the bottom. Key this chunk into my calculator and I get my answer as 37 over 9. 
that was the sum of 1 over alpha squared and 1 over beta squared, slightly longer. Next, I want to find out the product of 1 over alpha squared and 1 over beta squared. Slightly easier because I have done part of the calculation previously. Okay, substituting this in is 3 over 2 squared. Finally, keying into my calculator, I get my answer as 4 over 9. So far, for these two new roots, I found that the sum is 37 over 9 and the product is 4 over 9. The last step that I need to do is to find out what is this new quadratic equation, of which I need to remember these two values, 37 over 9 as the sum, 4 over 9 as the product, and substitute it into the final equation. Let me do that on the next page. Okay, the formula that I would be using will be this formula itself. So perhaps it will be easier if I just write it on the right hand side. Continuing from the previous, the last step is actually just to substitute x squared minus the sum of roots just now was 37 over 9. The product of roots was 4 over 9. And of course, I have to remember the equal to 0. And this is the new equation or the new quadratic equation that I was supposed to formulate. There's just this one last part of the question that I want to show you. The last part of the, uh, the equation or the problems said that the quadratic equation should have integer coefficients. So I'll flip back again to the equation that we have just formed. Can we see that for this coefficient of x squared is 1, so no issue. This is negative 37 over 9, that's the issue because it's not an integer. And 4 over 9 as well is not an integer. So the final step is to multiply throughout by 9, including the 0 as well, which will give me 9x squared minus 37x plus 4 equal to 0 because 0 times 9 gives me 0 and this is my new quadratic equation. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.